in this video, I'm going to show you the experiment of determining the mass of aluminum hydroxide present in a brain of commercial and tested tablet using the technique of back titration. Now, first of all, what is an antacid? Now, an antacid is a medicine used to treat stomach ache or what we call heartburn. Now, we have stomach ache because our stomach produces excess amount of stomach juice, which contains a lot of acid. So to relieve the pain, we will take in the antacid tablet, and inside the antacid tablet, it contains several different bases, and one of the most common bases is called aluminum hydroxide. And the aluminum hydroxide will neutralize the excess acid in our stomach, and therefore relieving the pain due to the excess stomach acid. Now, secondly, what do you mean by back titration, and why do we have to do back titration? Now, a back titration is different from the typical titration. When we do typical titration, we have our target sample titrated directly with a particular titrant. By looking at the volume of titrant used, we are able to determine the number of moles or the quantity of the target sample in the clinical flux. However, for back titration, we attempt to add excess reagent into our target sample. When the excess reagent reacts completely with our target product, there will be some reagent left unreacted. Now, we will perform the titration to find out the amount of unreacted reagent. So, from the initial amount of excess reagent that we have added, minus the amount of unreactive reagent left, then we are able to find out the amount of reagent that has actually reacted with our target sample. And from there, we are able to find out the quantity of our target sample. Using this experiment as an example, we are trying to find out the mass of aluminum hydroxide in the antacid tablet. What we try to do is, we will add excess hydrochloric acid so that all the aluminum hydroxide will be reacted with uh, hydrochloric acid. So some hydrochloric acid will be left unreacted, and we are trying to perform a titration to find out how much hydrochloric acid remain unreacted. So using the initial amount of hydrochloric acid added minus the hydrochloric acid remain unreacted, then we are able to find out the actual amount of acid that has reacted with the aluminum hydroxide. And from there, we are able to calculate the mass of aluminum hydroxide that is present in our sample. Now the last question is, why are we performing back titration? Why don't we simply do direct titration with our intestine tablet? Now, the very simple answer is that our sample is a solid. You can't titrate a solid directly. Simply, the reaction between a solution and a solid is too slow, so that it makes a direct titration not feasible. Now, let's get into the actual procedures. Now, first of all, we are going to take one antacid tablet, and we will grind it into powder using mortar and pestle. This step is to increase the surface area of the antacid tablet so that it can react faster with the hydrochloric acid. This is to make sure that all the active ingredient, especially the aluminum hydroxide, has reacted with the acid. Now, carefully transfer all the powder into a conical flask. Now, we are going to measure accurately 20 cm cube of 1m hydrochloric acid into the conical flask. To do that, we are going to use a 
10 ml micro pipe pad. Now, as you can see from the scale here, it reads 10, and this micro pipe pad can measure from 2 ml to 10 ml. Now, transfer 20 ml of hydrochloric acid into the conical flask. Swallow the mixture to make sure that all the aluminum hydroxide has reacted with the acid. Now, wash the burette and load it with the sodium hydroxide solution for the titration. Record the initial burette reading. To the analyte, add a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator. The analyte should remain colorless because it is acidic due to the unreacted hydrochloric acid. Perform titration. The end point should be indicated by a faint pink color. Now, the end point has reached and it's quite hard to observe because of the uh, cloudy suspension but here, this faint pink color actually is the end point Now, we should record the final be red reading This one should be 29.9 In order to make our result more reliable and precise, we should perform several more repeated trials. So this is the end of the experimental part.